I'm with three captains, the big three captains who deserve respect from their crews, big tips from their guests, drama-free charters, and booze signs that come on board with all their paperwork. But what fun would that be? It wouldn't be a great show if everybody had their paperwork. Please welcome Below Deck, Down Unders Captain, Captain Jason. <laughs> Please welcome Below Deck Sailing Yachts, Captain Glenn. And Below Deck's Captain Kerry. <laughs> Captain, you guys, how you guys doing? How has BravoCon been so far? Uh, it's amazing. Last year was uh, the first one. Uh, broke my virginity there. It was amazing. And um, this, this season, well, this one's going to be fantastic already, day one. Captain Glenn? Oh, amazing. I'm blown away. It's, uh, for me, it's like the total rock star experience. I can't believe it. All the love from the audience, from the fans. It's Fantastic. Kerry, what's been the biggest surprise so far, Captain? The biggest surprise here is being in Sin City and having an insane time with all you guys. So from last year to this year, what's been the biggest change? Well, last year I could walk through the crowd and no one even knew who I was. Is that, is that crazy for you now, like this year walking? Because people, in, you know, Bravo fans, below deck fans, they don't just say hello. Like they screech, they yell at high pitched levels. Is that like freaking you out? Yeah, there's been a lot of fondling. <laughs> okay, okay, let's keep it above the belt, ladies. Um, <laughs> Kerry, uh, Captain Kerry, uh, uh, Captain Glenn, what about you from last year to this year? Has it gotten bigger, crazier? I don't know. Last year was pretty crazy. This year's crazy. I'm just happy to be here. It's an uh, amazing experience. And, and Captain Jason, what, what is it like for you walking through the people? Do you need security? Like, what is it like for you? I, I can't stop enough. I just like to, I probably like to get to know them more than they get to know me. I, I love meeting people. Okay. So you guys have a, have, a, have a kinship, obviously, for what you do on the boats, uh, uh, but you're also, you know, now television stars. Uh, what is your relationship like? Do you guys keep in touch when you're not at BravoCon? Do you guys share tips? Like, how, what's your relationship, the big three captains? We all know what each other's doing. We do keep in contact with social media, for sure. And um, look, Glenn's on a great experience sailing his boat, doing everything we would love to do. Okay. Um, and Kerry's running a very successful business and working hard on the outside as well. And um, I'm just chilling out on the islands in the Philippines. <laughs> is it as beautiful as it, as it, as it looks? It's raw, it's great, it's, 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 you know, it's out there, it's remote, and nice. it's where I want to be. So coming to BravoCon is kind of just like an eye-opener. All right. Do, do you guys gamble? Do you like to play casino games? Do you like to go to the tables? If, if so, what's your favorite game? Yeah, I've been known to dabble on blackjack. Have you, have, you, have you dabbled this weekend so far? Not yet. Not yet, okay. I like craps. Have you, have you rolled a few yet? Not this time around, but uh, I have in the past, yeah. Uh, are you going to play when I have some time? All right, all right. You, you like to blackjack, but I need a good bookend, too, so we might have to think about it, you know? All right, and so when you guys get recognized, it's such a crazy kind of fame because these, uh, these fans are rabid. They love you. They appreciate you guys. When, when people see you, like, you know, out in the wild, like in the street, like, what is the reaction like? What's the most common or craziest thing a fan has ever said to you, uh, Captain Jason? Be of days, honest. A couple of days ago, um, a lady came up and said, look, your, this, your show is the only one that um, we allow to do something with that we don't usually do. I said, what's that? They said, we turn it on on Monday and we eat our dinner in bed watching you. Which, nice. <laughs> which, nice. Uh, I hear from a lot of people that they, uh, a lot of ladies uh, get their husbands to watch with, with them. And, the below deck shows are the ones that seem to bring the, the men in, and I'm really happy for that. Captain? I don't have as good a story as you guys have, but um, what I do like is when I am out in public, people come up to me and go, you look like that Kerry guy. I'm like, yeah, I do, don't I? I get that a lot. <laughs> all right, you guys all have different boats. You all have different crews. You all have different leadership, uh, leadership styles, uh, uh, but you all have being a captain in common. Uh, uh, talk about how that instantly bonds you and, and what that sort of, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a cool, to actually be a captain, uh, talk about that bond and what that, what that means to you guys individually. I, I think regardless of um, 
the shows, we, the franchises, we, we, we are captains across the board and every captain is going to be different and the personalities are going to be different. So we don't, um, we don't judge ourselves, we just bring our, our actual A game to, to the show and uh, we respect how much work there is involved in the show and um, I think we've got a common respect for how much, how exhausting it is. And it's, it's a hard job, it's not an easy job, but it's also a fun job. And when you're working on a boat like that, it's, it's not just workmates, it becomes family, doesn't it? It's, it you definitely become family with the crew. It's kind of an ever-evolving family. People come and go, but yeah. Yeah, when you're in such close proximities of each other, you, you, you tend to get this bond and you understand each other's going on. And, and when I get questions about you know, what you guys are doing in your show and others, you know, at the end of the day, we, we all know the pressures and what it takes to, get, to make the decisions we do. How much harder is it to charter, a, a, you know, a, a, a trip when there's cameras and you're filming as opposed to when there's no cameras and filming? How much more intense is that? I, th I think there's a little bit of logistics for scheduling for the production. But other than that, we're, we're, it's just like a normal charter for us. They don't get in the way, really. Right. Um, and uh, we just get on with running the boat. Okay. Uh, other than being on your best behavior. That too. With well, the cameras. <laughs> we, when the, the cameras start rolling and we run on the boat, we, you know, we've got to get the crew together. We've we got to get to know the boat as well. Um, so we've got all the safety factors involved. Then we've got to get the crew... Um, we've got to get the charters going and the, and the guests enjoying themselves. So all the cameras just dissipate um, because we're there doing our job. Okay. Now, you, are you single? Very much. Single? No. Single? No. Okay, so only, only Captain Jason is currently single. Correct. So when you, are you guys good wingmen? I know you're good captains, but are you good wingmen for the captain? Because, listen, it's hard for him to get a girl to, to even pay attention to him. We're good wingmen. You're good wingmen? Yeah. And he'll just we got, leave it, we it got that. Jason's back. Okay. Um, all right, uh, another thing you guys all have in cap common, uh, being a captain with everyone, uh, every move you make is caught on camera. Let's talk what it's like watching your crew and watching yourselves on TV. Being a captain coming through the ranks is, is hard work, and now you guys are TV stars. What surprised you the most about your crew when you watch your respective seasons air? Uh, the drama, the hookups, are you, can you see the hookups coming at this point? What is the whole experience like? Uh, no, I mean, a I don't know about you guys, but I don't see a lot of stuff until it gets on TV. Like, I'm not everywhere at all times. I have a good idea what's going on and all the things that are happening on the boat. I hear stuff, you know, but there's a lot of stuff that goes down that we don't, we don't see firsthand. Got you, got you. When getting involved and helping out in the galley and helping out in the crew mess is secretly a way for us to eavesdrop sometimes and, um, and listen to what's going on. But it also gives us a connection and you, you feel the energy what's going on. Um, however, it's not until it comes out that you guys see it and we see it and we just go, holy hell, really? What, what has been each one of your guys uh, uh, so far uh, doing the show, your what the f moment? Like, I can't believe this is on TV. This is not appropriate, uh, or you know something you screwed up. Like, what has been like your one moment where you're like, I can't believe this is happening. Each one of you guys, go ahead. Yeah, I, I can't talk about it yet because we haven't had enough uh, advertising of the new season of Below Deck. But there's there's some moments on there that I've got a, a holy <laughs> I had no clue. Okay, uh, my holy bleep moment was. Now you can say. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that into a mic. Yes. Or, uh, all, all Don't worry, it. it's fine. Uh, we're in Vegas. We're on streaming. Was I think uh, I, I think in season two we were in Croatia and uh, there was a, ma a mechanical malfunction on the boat and I hit the dock hard, hard. It was hard enough there. Like, is this the end of the season? Hard. But luckily, uh, it was just filler that was damaged and we were we had guests on like an hour later. Wow. Yeah, we had paint on it in half an hour. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't a great paint job. But, uh, I'm yeah. sure. Okay. Captain? I put budgie smugglers on. Right. Right. I was going to ask you about the budgie smugglers. Uh, 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 did that, how did that work out when you saw it? Uh, uh, did, you, did you feel, were you happy uh, uh, with the way you look in high definition in your bungee smugglers? Do you feel like you want to, like, you know, get in shape a little bit more? Like, how did the whole process, and what has been the response from your family, friends, uh, of seeing you in the, in the budgie smugglers? And who came up with the term 
budgie smugglers. It's an Australian term for, um, it's either that or dick stickers, they call them. Dick stickers! Or, or your old banana hammock. An Australian term. It's um, usually you need to be um, very young or very old to wear them. So um, <laughs> oh, they might be going into that class. You, you told me it was a condor smuggler. Yeah, condor. No? <laughs> Did you, you guys saw, you saw him in his uh, uh, budgie smugglers? Oh, the old banana hammock. <laughs> Thank God I didn't.